Good afternoon, Romulus Community Schools family. This is Dr. Edmondson, the superintendent of schools. First of all, I hope that all of you are well. Uh, your physical and your mental and your emotional well-being are um, at the top of your priority list. Um, today, I just uh, give you information to keep you informed on uh, the latest status of our um, educational platform. Uh, this Monday, this past Monday, uh, the 25th, I asked the school board, I re recommended to the school board that we remain virtual, 100% uh, virtual uh, until the end of the first uh, semester, which is January 22nd, 2021. At that time, we will have more information regarding the uh, COVID-19 cases, whether or not they're spiking or not. We'll have a greater idea there. Uh, we'll know what's happening in our own district and uh, we will certainly know if we're able to accommodate uh, opening up or trying some kind of uh, version of such. Um, during January's meetings, we will be discussing uh, what to do uh, in terms of returning to learning or if we will again extend. But from now, today, moving forward to January 22nd, it will remain 100% virtual. I know this is a great inconvenience to a lot of families. Um, it's a great inconvenience to me too because I don't think that I'm a virtual superintendent. I feel that I am an in-person, uh, in-your-face, visit the visit students, visit staff, visit you kind of superintendent, but I haven't been able to do that. Um, but I do sleep at night knowing that our staff is uh, uh, as well. Nobody's been getting sick on our watch. I know that our students are well. I know that our families are well. Um, the biggest concern now is the workload and whether or not kids are learning during virtual instruction. I need you to absolutely monitor this to see what the workload is. If your kids are crying every time they get on, you gotta, you have to stop. It's just too much if they're having any kind of frustration level. But it is your responsibility as a parent to contact the school and the teacher if your child is really struggling with this online platform. Additionally, you have to hold us accountable for good teaching. Uh, monitor what's coming home, monitor what's going on um, during those lessons. Um, our teachers are working their heart out, um, I assume, but I can't speak for all of them. I don't know if all of them are working up, uh, their heart out, but I can tell you that we are committed to this platform, but it looks different depending on the teacher. Um, but I wanna make certain that your child is learning at this point. Um, the reality is we're in a pandemic. If it were different, I would, do, I would do different things. Our school would do different things. Our school board would do different things. But I'm very thankful to have a school board that supports me in making wellness the number one priority of everyone uh, that's within our community. I thank you for your support. I encourage you to stay involved. I encourage you to remind your child that this is still learning, to get up out of that bed, take a shower, have breakfast, sit down at that table and prepare to learn. I expect you to see your kids engaged in learning. It shouldn't just stop when the kid, when, when classes are over. Learning is an everyday, it's not necessarily 24 hours, but you definitely have access to 24 hour learning. If at any point you are not pleased with the educational level that you're, that you're uh, seeing or the quality of education, contact your students, your child, excuse me, your child's teacher. If not then, then you go to the principal. If not there, you go come and visit me here and we'll have a conversation. But lastly is the school board. You don't go to complain to the school board first without seeing all the other people that are impacted as well. So have yourself a great day. I wish I had better news, but the reality is that I have to keep kids safe. Take care. If you have any questions, come visit me or send me an email and I will certainly respond to you. I am honored to serve as your superintendent and I thank you for the time that you've given me here.